Next, we'll do the five Tibetans. Here's the first Tibetan. Twelve repetitions of each are demonstrated here, but if you haven't tried the Tibetans before, start with three to six, and slowly work your way up to 21. The first Tibetan is great for enhancing vestibular ability. That means balance. This exercise looks a whole lot more daunting than it is. It can be done by just about anybody as long as you take your time and move slowly. If you experience any dizziness, these two cleansing breaths should help. This is the second Tibetan. Remember to point your toes skyward when on the ground and when you raise your legs. Inhale as you lift your legs. Exhale as you bring them down. Get up and take two cleansing breaths. Exhale through your mouth as if blowing out a candle. The third Tibetan. Remember to keep your toes tucked under. Inhale as your head goes back. Exhale as it comes forward. Your spine will become more flexible as you do this exercise, so there's no need to force it. Get up and take two cleansing breaths. If you have trouble getting up and down, you can take your cleansing breaths from the ground. The fourth Tibetan. Inhale as you come up. Exhale as you get down. Remember to keep your arms straight. All the work is being done by the legs and the back. If you have trouble getting into this position, don't worry about it too much. There's considerable benefit to be gained by trying, and you will find it gets easier. Try to keep your hands by your hip joints also. The leverage is much better from that position. Get up and take your two cleansing breaths.
the fifth Tibetan. Inhale as you raise your buttocks. Exhale as you come down. Here again, little of the work is being done by the arms. Most of it's being done by the legs and back and abdomen. Try to keep your toes tucked under and your knees from uh, touching the ground. Take two cleansing breaths. And lie down and allow the energy to circulate through you. Ideally, it's a nice grassy spot and a white cat will come by. Some tips on doing the Tibetans. Do the same number of repetitions of each Tibetan. Start slow. Do at least three, but don't force it at first. These exercises are very powerful, and overdoing it may release more energy than the circuitry of your body can easily handle. You may feel lightheaded or dizzy or just a little jumpy. This won't cause any damage, but may be uncomfortable and may discourage your continuing a very healthy exercise. Build up slowly. Add one repetition at a time, building to 21. The full daily benefit can be gotten from 21 repetitions. Doing more won't hurt. It's just not necessary. Don't be discouraged if you can't easily perform some of the exercises at first. Start slowly and patiently build up. You will get stronger and more energetic. Even half executed with good intention, these exercises will bring results. Not only do the Tibetans give the spine a really good workout, they stimulate the nerves along the backbone and massage the internal organs. But perhaps more important, the Tibetans are reputed to balance the seven chakras, considered in yoga to be the primary energy centers of the body. From my own experience, I'm not certain if that's what they do, but they do generate an immense amount of energy for the small time and effort expended. The Tibetans are a powerful and valuable tool. Respect their power and they'll be a good friend. Amrita is designed as a 20-minute rejuvenation workout, which can be done at any time in very limited spaces. If the opportunity exists, it is best done first thing upon rising and before eating. In general, it's best not to do this or any exercise right after a meal. If you can do it in nature, on grass or on a beach, do it. The results will be enhanced. But don't let that lack postpone a session. With practice, the energetic connections to the earth and sky get easier to make. The exercises of Amrita stand very nicely on their own, thank you. They are rooted in traditional energy exercises and enjoy some individual attention. Feel free to do the bear, lifting the sky, embracing the moon, or any of them, whenever it seems appropriate. Just be sensitive to your energy state and don't overdo it. <laughs> 